hello welcome back once again please subscribe to my channel please like comment and share here we're giving the following equation right over here a to the power of n plus a to the power of n plus a to the power of n all over 4 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n this is equal to 48 and right here we ask to find the value of n sorry for the x here right okay so here we have a to the power of n plus a to the power of n plus a to the power of n all over 4 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n and this is equal to 48. Okay. Mind you here we have x 8 to the power of n plus a to the power of n plus a to the power of n. Let us recall that when we have x plus x, you know this is equal to 2x. We have x plus x plus x. This is equal to 3x. That is 3 times x, right? So right over here, we have a to the power of n plus a to the power of n plus a to the power of n. So this is going to be 3 times a to the power of n, right? So 3 times a to the power of n. And then here we have 2 times 4 to the power of n, right? Then this is equal to 48. Okay, now we're going to express it in index power of 2 and also 4. We all know 8 is equal to 2 cubed and 4 is equal to 2 squared, right? So here we're going to have 3 times. Right over here we have 2 cubed raised to the power of n. Then all over 2 times, here 2 squared raised to the power of n. This is equal to 48. So according to the law of indices, we're going to multiply these powers together. So right over here, we're going to have 3 times 2 raised power of 3n all over 2 times 2 raised power of 2n. We multiply these powers together and this is equal to 48. Okay, so from here, let us multiply both sides by 2. So here we multiply by 2 and here we multiply by 2. So these two cancel out these two. And from here, we have equal basis. So we're going to subtract the powers. So here we have 3 times 2 raised to the power of 3n minus 2n. And this is equal to 48 times 2. So let us go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So here by 3 and here by 3, right? Okay. So here 3 cancel 3 and right over here we have 2 raised to the power of 3n minus 2n that is n. So this is equal to you know here 3 here 1 and 3 here is 16 right. So right over here we have 16 times 2 so that is going to give us 32 and this 32 is the same as 2 to the power of 5. So from here we have 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 5. So we can see we have equal basis, so we can easily equate the powers. And therefore, we find the value of n to be equal to 5. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Please like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.